My dear friends, you have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister in this community. I gave my children uh, nicknames. I called Bobby Bubba. I called Derek Thor. Tell him why. Tell him why. When Anna was pregnant, Derek would be kicking her stomach, and I'd say, "There's Thor." <laughs> and I gave Stephanie a nickname him as well. Derek used to say, "Mom and Dad, can Stephanie come over and have dinner?" And I'd say. Ooh, the flower's coming. <laughs> She's the flower. Look how beautiful she is. Matrimony is an act of hope. This is not a human way of hoping, rather it is founded on the conviction that God is faithful. With the virtue of hope, we believe that God's promises are true. We look to heaven as our true home and have confidence that the Lord Jesus will find every way to get us there. Do not hope that every day will be easy without suffering. Hope that in the difficulty, God will strengthen your bond of love. Hope will teach you that suffering, when done together, is of great value. Suffering born of patience will purify your love. When suffering is perfected by love, it can even become a joy. Suffer joyfully for one another. Sacrifice regularly for one another as a sign that you are truly placing the other before yourself. After this, you will no longer be bound in a simple way, but you will be bound together in such a way that no man can separate. Not even God will separate you. By this communion of two lives wrapped inseparably together, one flesh will be born. I, Derek, take you, Stephanie, for my lawful wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for rich or poor, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. I, Stephanie, take you, Derek, for my lawful husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. I present to you now, Mr. and Mrs. Sandoval. Please kiss her.